Hello, and welcome to Writer Rant, author advice in five minutes or less because I have to get back to writing and so do you. So today I want to talk a little bit about dialogue. Now dialogue is a key part to any good story. You know, you've got a good back and forth between a couple of characters, but there's some times that it really isn't done correctly. Uh, and there's a few ways that you can do it right. You know, you can keep it really simple, you can keep it a good back and forth, a good repartee, but there's so many ways you can really kind of screw up dialogue. And so let's go into a couple of them. First of all, uh, one of the things I've read recently, there was this book and the characters echoed. And it's like, okay, you know, as a reader, like I just read this part where this character is like, hey, you know, is this thing true? And then this other character says, yes, this thing is true. It's like, it's a back and forth that's really just kind of, it's it's a call and response. It's just like, it's repetitive, it's redundant. It's just like, oh my gosh, seriously. Just, this is not, <laughs> you don't need that. You don't need the echo. It's like just, you know, how often do you talk to other people and it's like everything that you say has to be said back to you in a confirmation. It's just like, yes, I heard what you said, and this is what you said. Like, you don't need that on every single line of dialogue. It just gets repetitive and redundant, and it's just, ah, oh, it's so annoying. So I've read that in a book recently, and I just thought I wanted to get that off my chest. Uh, and so another thing about dialogue, and here's the second thing, is that you really kind of want to mix in some action, right? So you can have a good kind of back and forth. You can have a good dialogue. You don't need uh, necessarily tags of, you know, character one said, character two said, character three said, you know, especially when it's just two characters. Uh, then that way it's just like, okay, yeah, we get the back and forth. And so when you have the same kind of structure for your dialogue, so you have, you know, an intro little bit of dialogue and then, you know, character one said, and then the rest of it, and then you do that for every single character, it, you know, it's that repetitiveness that really kind of gets tiring for a reader. It's like, okay, yeah, da 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 and it's just like pages of that. It really gets annoying. And so, you know, you gotta lighten it up a little bit with a little bit of action. Uh, you know, you can say said, you know, so that way you can have, hey, here's who's, here's the character who's speaking, but sometimes it's like, how often do you talk and do something else while you're talking, like you're distracted or you're cooking dinner or whatever. And, you know, sometimes you just have your characters do these actions so that they're not just sitting there talking, like, back and forth, and it's just, it gets kind of boring that way. Uh, and so number three, you know, I get it. We have to have information, and we have to convey that information out into the, into the audience to say, hey, you know, here's this cool stuff I need you to know. Dialogue, I mean, there's, there, there are good ways to do it and there are bad ways to do it. Um, I've seen it more often than not a bad way. It's a, it's definitely a forced information. It's just the, oh hey, I don't know this, so I'm going to ask this expert, and this expert's going to just exposition dump all over me to say, hey, here's all this information, and it's like, it's, it just doesn't feel natural. It's just like, wait a minute, you know, if this character lives in this world, shouldn't they know this? I mean, yeah, you might get away with it if it's somebody who has amnesia, but even then, it's like, okay, yeah, we get it author is trying to convey the information, so don't force this information on your reader through dialogue, because then it's like, you know, if it needs to be explored a little bit through dialogue, that's great. You know, that's the way to do it. But if it's just a, well, I have this question, and you're just essentially bullet pointing out all of this information, don't, don't do it that way. Don't do it that way. So, anyways, what do you think about dialogue? Uh, there's a lot of dialogue out there. There's a lot of good dialogue, a lot of bad dialogue. What's some of the bad dialogue you've heard? Uh, drop a comment below and, you know, let's talk about it. And if there's anything that annoys you about authors writing dialogue poorly, or if you're an author and you have something that kind of bugs you about the writing process, drop a comment below and maybe I'll get to it in a future episode. So thanks for watching this week's Writer Rant. I'm Benjamin M. Weilert.